Sorry about that. We had an unexpected visitor. The car is built exceptionally well. Kind of fun that you have the door latch to lock the front door open so that you can use it as a early form of air conditioning. So you just take your little latch and as you're driving down the road, the car scoops air into the passenger compartment. The windshield folds down. It's got dashboard, light, odometer, speedometer, oil pressure, charging. It has a exhaust cutout that works great and it latches. And it has a compression release so you can crank it. The car's got 81 pounds of compression and if you try to pull it over manually, it can't be done. But if you engage the compression release, it pulls over quite easily by hand. Everything works, all the storage areas, the toolboxes. It's quite an interesting vehicle. I'm gonna open the hood. We haven't cleaned the engine yet. We had to do extensive work on the water pump, as you can see. You can see the engine number, which is GM87. The body is also marked and all the tags are marked 87. That's the original vacuum tank. The original fuel lines were missing. What we have installed right now is just temporary to get us going down the road while we continue to work on and sort the car. It's already reliable enough that we're driving it without carrying tools. When you properly sort a car, you can usually get them pretty good. You can actually see on the corner of the hood here, the original striping and pin striping. There's the Bosch mag. You can see we made a little copper pointer for setting up engine timing because we had to figure it out because what was published on this car is wrong. There's your oil sight glass for checking your oil your air compressor, which engages that the uh, throttle spring is only temporary, but the uh, compressor works fine. The crankcase is actually, for the air compressor, is its own casting into the engine block itself, so it's got a separate oil system for the air compressor. The fan is chain driven, and it has a clutch in it, and so it works quite well. Right now the motor is cold, so it's locked up once it heats up it releases and it starts to spin thermally. Um, the car has that unusual USS standard thread, which is before SAE. So you cannot find or buy a single bolt, nut or screw for the car. It's all special, which is a real pain in the neck. Fortunately, the car had never really been abused and we were missing a total of seven screws, nuts or bolts. So we're in the process of making what we need I have the original engine splash pans and I have the original starter splash pan. They're not on the car yet because we plan on steam cleaning the engine this week. The top is unfortunately a little bit tatty, but it is what it is. I will have my upholsterer come down and sew it up the best he can. And my expectation is we will probably just eventually put the top down and not put it up. Um, we boiled the gas tank out as you can see there's the rear running light the gas gauge is next to the gas filler which that was the only thing on the car that was really truly broken um it sort of rotted away because they had left fuel in it since 1942 and it really did a number on the gas gauge but we're in the process of making one of those um it's really just an unusual great time warp of a car it's fast it's comfortable and easy to drive it drives much more like a 1932 car than it does a 1917. Here you can see the headlight switch, the uh, dash lights, the choke, and we have the original keys for the car stamped with a locksmith's name and address uh, from Queens, New York. The car was sold new in Flushing. We've recently been able to make contact with a elderly gentleman who has known this car 
since the second owner owned it and the second owner owned it for some 60 years or so. So we know exactly where the car has been every day of its life since 1929. And uh, we're gonna get that documented and written down and it'll become part of the car's history. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start driving it. It has 11,217 miles on it. So we've got five miles on it since we started playing with it. Uh, I'm waiting for a license plate in registration from the state of Florida. There was a hiccup, everything's fine. It's been a nightmare, but uh, we'll have it going down the road and it will be on an AACA tour in Florida in April of 2021. Hopefully we'll have it out at the MODOC tour in 2021 out in California. And we intend to bring it to Hershey, Pennsylvania for the Hershey Car Show uh, in October of 2021. And then after that, the car is going to live up at the Gilmore Car Museum uh, where we can use it on tours and events in Michigan as Southern Florida during the summer when I have my time off, it's just too hot to enjoy the car. Hope you enjoyed the videos and have a great day.